let's draw some lines of drip. Now, I've seen this done so many times, I'm gonna try it myself. The best way to describe this is to imagine the drip of paint along a paint tin and try to mimic that as best as possible by just letting your marker flow using really exaggerated curved lines. As you can see there, I have narrower parts at the tops and then as that drip goes down, it really curves and bulges down the bottom. And then we're adding some parts there that look like they have, um, they add shine to the shape. So we're going to go over that part now. Again, with the drips, if you have those narrow sections too wide apart, it doesn't look as realistic. So the bulge at the bottom of the drip marks, I think are what creates a more realistic look. And once you do get that flow of those really nice curvy, curvy drip shapes, then you can also apply that really nice curve to these unorthodox looking raindrop shines that I add on later on. So I'm imagining that there's a light source from the left that is shining onto this drip which is creating a really lighter highlight i would say uh, which is represented by that strangely shaped little white raindrop at the bottoms of each one of those drip shapes as you can see now these colors that i'm using awesome posca Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. This was a really great experience for me. I've never used acrylic markers before. This is my first time and I thought they were brilliant. This ended up looking much better than I expected. I've never done a drip drawing before and this is my first time. So if I can do it guys, you can definitely do it too. Please give this a go. It's super fun to do and I'm gonna add some extra details now. So I've gone ahead, given them all a nice solid coloring in and this is what it looks like. You've got a few drips and then you've got those highlights. Now I'm gonna get my black. This is a finer marker, but it doesn't really matter if you use a thicker one, that should work too. And I'm adding a shadow on the right hand side of each one of the drips. I decided not to go around and outline the entire thing. I just wanted to add the shadow. And now I'm adding extra highlights with the white by simply drawing small curved lines and dotted lines on the upper curve of when the drip turns back up. And that looks pretty cool to me. If you look at that, it kind of looks real for a second. <laughs> and then I'm just going ahead and just fixing up all of the edges there. Um, and then going over and adding my final little highlight just to try to create that illusion of dimension. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty cool. <laughs> I think that you should give this a go for sure. This was super fun to do and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you give it a try. Let me know how you go in the comments and I hope to see you all again soon.